And switching gears here, talking about jet suits. Yes, jet suits. Could they be used by first responders to cut down those critical moments when life and death hang in the balance? One British company is testing them out. And as Maggie Ruley reports, the hope is that they may one day transform emergency care. He's a real life Iron Man. Powered by a jet suit with more than a thousand horsepower at his fingertips and flames shooting out of his arms. Richard Browning may look like a flying superhero now, but four years ago, many said his idea was crazy. Back in 2016, I hatched this idea that wouldn't it be neat if you could get a human being to fly by just adding the minimalist amount of power, basically, and use your brain as the balance machine and your body as the flight structure. Sounds, even still, sounds mad, right? But I just did it as a passion project alongside my day job. His team made that mad idea a reality, and now he hopes this Buzz Lightyear tech will help save lives. Richard showed mountain paramedics in Northern England how to jet up the hilly terrain to get to someone fast in an emergency. In trials, the medics say an area that would normally take them nearly 30 minutes to hike to only took 90 seconds in a jet suit. With this technology, there is the possibility that we can get to someone in cardiac arrest on the top of a mountain in time to save their life with a defibrillator. Um, and that to me is just absolutely, the prospect is incredible. The company estimates that the flying paramedics will be able to carry at least 25 pounds of essential gear with them. Not even four years ago, this was a kind of crazy idea that I didn't even know was feasible. Even if it's feasible, I thought it might be a fun little gimmick to play around with. But to see it being used, at least in a mock emergency situation, is really magic. I mean, it's, it's very rewarding. Okay. Yeah. Richard says he can normally train people in the basics in a couple of days. And as I found out, oh, I'm lighting up. To learn, they strap you into a jet suit right away. Suited up with jet fuel on your back. <laughs> Richard tells me to trust in the machine. I feel like I'm the airplane. And my own balance. Okay, so I started off a bit rocky. Have a go with pulling that trigger in and try and play with moving the engines okay. forwards and backwards to move yourself forwards and backwards. Yeah. You've got to find that stability. But finally, I found my groove jet suit in the world. They say it takes just a couple of days to learn, but it was shockingly easier than I anticipated. I made it a few inches off the ground. That was brilliant. A lot of people worry that they think there's just so much power and heat and crazy, yeah. but actually when you're in it, it's actually quite calm, yeah, isn't it? It's yeah. weirdly gentle, isn't it? It is, it is. Now Richard shows us how it's really done and proves that human flight and what it can accomplish is only a matter of innovation. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, London. Very cool. Very impressed with Maggie blasting off like that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.